He was brought in in handcuffs. His mother was here as well. She broke down in tears when the judge decided that the 16 year old will remain in juvenile custody for now. The defense team said that the boy should be released to his mom because he is going to be supervised and has never been in the trouble in the past. However, prosecutors countered by saying the teen could present a danger to himself or others. The judge agreed with the prosecution, and for now, that teen will stay in juvenile detention. We also learned that there may have been a previous incident in Involving a different student at Bel Air High School prior to the shooting, and prosecutors say they want to know more about that prior incident. As you know, it was on Tuesday of this week when the teen is accused of accidentally shooting 19 year old Cesar Cortez, a senior at Bel Air High School who was in the ROTC program and planned to join the Army. Also, we know that this afternoon at 3 o'clock, 3 30, Bel Air High School students are going to hold a sit in at the headquarters of HISD demanding more transparency from the district regarding firearms incidents at the school and also safety measures at the school. The 16 year old will have another detention hearing in two weeks time to determine if he can be released at that point. Meanwhile, he has been ordered to undergo a mental health evaluation. His lawyers, his family, they did not want to talk when all this was over. They left the courtroom. His mother left the courtroom in tears when she realized that her son would not be going home with her. And as far as any details of the case, that's not what happened here today. They didn't get into that at all. This was simply to determine if if that teen should be allowed to go with his mother or remain here in custody, and he is going to remain in custody, at least for now. Reporting live, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Jeff, the whole thing is still so very sad, but still the question, why did he even bring the gun to school? I guess that's still tough to right. answer. It really is at this point. Again, you know, right off the bat, the judge said she's not going to get into any of the details of what happened at Bel Air High School, only focusing on whether or not there was enough to keep this boy in custody or to allow him to go home with his mother. Ultimately, the judge deciding that, as the prosecutors had said, this boy may present a danger to either himself or possibly yeah. others. So for now, he's going to stay here. But yeah, no other details as to why the gun was brought to school, how the gun was obtained, nothing like that revealed in court today.